From our broadcast house to three Denise descends away in Rocky Hill, welcome to Friday Night Frenzy at Channel 3. I'm Joe Zone. Thanks for staying up. Well, this is it, the final weekend of the high school sports season. A lot of people thought we wouldn't get here. A lot of people thought we shouldn't even try. Well, I'm glad we did. Well, there were just two championship games on the schedule tonight. Everything else is tomorrow. So we begin with the two games that were played. Channel 3's Mark Robbins starts us off. Yeah, Joe, uh, the first baseball game, really a terrific matchup. Class S state title on the line. Parochial versus powerhouse public schoolers. St. Paul of Bristol went up against Cog and Chug Regional. And I, like you, Joe, happy to say we're back to normal. Check out the huge crowd of Palmer Field for this one. And they were treated to some defense early on. This play was outstanding. Cog and Chug pitcher Colby Pascarelli lost his balance, but not his composure. Getting a runner at first. And then with a runner at third and a couple out, look at Connor Willett with the grab at shortstop. And that ends the inning, prevents a run from scoring for St. Paul. How about Casey Serrato, the catcher? Runner on third there, making a nice play on the bunt attempt to end an inning. It's scoreless into the third for Coggenshaw going Clancy with a drive down the line and right, and that's going to fall in. Evan Fiella will come home for the Blue Devils and take a 1 0 lead. Now a couple of wild pitches would bring home two more Blue Devils. They took a 3-0 lead into the fourth, and up comes Colby Pascarelli. Oh, after this walk here, watch what Pascarelli does. Finds a soft spot in short right. Two more runs score, and at this point it is six, nothing for Coggin Chog, and the Blue Devils go on to win the Class S baseball title. Got the shutout to boot. Eight nothing over St. Paul. 